Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode, we're going to do another test from Salford. We're doing the KH alkalinity test. Very good test, just like my other episodes we had, uh, calcium and pH. Um, it's very important in your reef tank. Your, cor your corals need the carbonate to build their skeletons as well. So you want to make sure and keep those in check. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you what's in the kit and what, it, what you need to do um, for this kit. So what we're going to do here, what it comes with, it comes with a, uh, test solutions. This is the KH. LND. This one here is the KH test um, and it comes with a vial and a one milliliter syringe with tip and a five milliliter syringe for your testing. So what I did right now is I just got a test vial out of my uh, out of my sump from my reef tank and you're, the next step we're going to do is we're going to fill this syringe to the four milliliter mark. So we're just going to take some of the test water I took from my tank. We're going to put this up to four milliliters Make sure to get all the air bubbles out of it. So we'll just, just tap it. I'm just gonna put a little bit back in. All right, so we got a four milliliter. So I'm just gonna add this to the other vial that comes in the kit. So we just fill that up. So now we can put this syringe away. So the next thing you're gonna do, I'm just gonna move this guys. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the KH LND. You gotta shake it, it says take it and shake it for about four seconds and tap it on the table just to make sure the solution's all mixed up well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it to the side. We're gonna drop, we're gonna drop four drops in here, guys. So let's count them out. One, two, three, four. Make sure it's precise. Put your cap on so you don't spill it. Put that to the side. Just gonna give this, shake it up just a little bit. So now you can see it's like a, it's like a bluish green color. That's how you start it off. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna move this test off to the side. What we're gonna do now is you're gonna take your your KH solution with your one mil syringe. The shake, it says to shake it up a little bit. So we shake that off. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this the tip, and you're gonna put it right in, make sure it's, it's underneath into the solution and you're gonna raise the piston to the one mil mark, the, the bottom of the black of the mil mark. I don't know, before it was really, uh, it was confusing to me as well. Because what you're gonna do, I'll just show you guys, you bring your piston up exactly to the one mil line. When they ask you that, because this tip will actually takes up air, there's actually one mil of air that's being taken up here, so there is gonna be an air gap in between. So you end up just with that air. So you're gonna just put that right under the solution, you're gonna raise this up, and make sure your piston, make sure your piston is right at the one mil. You guys, you guys can see that right there. See the air? That's typical because of the, the pink tip. All right, so now we're just gonna move this to the side. So put the cover on so we don't spill it. So now we're gonna, we're gonna take our solution and we're gonna keep putting a few drops at a time and shaking it until it starts to turn like a pink color to orange. That's what we're looking for. All right, because you just, this is the instructions it comes with right here. It has all your readings on the side. So when it says, if you read the bottom, it says natural seawater has a KH of seven to eight DKH. So that's what we're looking for. And then if we look on our chart, it'll tell us the exact, uh, what it should be at. So let's start guys. So we're gonna start adding drops right now until it starts to turn pink to orange. So I'm just gonna drop, I dropped five drops. Keep dropping a couple more until we see that turn a pink to orange color. So there you go, it's starting to turn pink. I'll give it two more. So there you go, it's pink to orange. So what I'll do, I'll hold it up to paper for you. Do you guys see the color? So that's what you're looking for. So now that we have the color, we take our syringe and we read on here, you read at the piston, your result, and we match it, and we match it on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read this. I think my, I think my tank is actually a little bit low tonight. I'm gonna have to buff it out. So if I read here, it's 6 point, 0 0.65. 
I know that's low already, so that's not good. So I'm gonna have to buff my buff my water. So if we go over on our chart, guys, so we go on our chart, so we said 0 0.65. So if we look on here, zero, um, so 0 0.64 between 0 0.66, that is a 5.4 DKH. So that's really low, guys, because my water should be at seven to eight. So now I know that I'm gonna have to buff that out. Um, Salford actually has a, another uh, buffing agent you can add to your water to raise it naturally. That's a good idea. So that's what I'm gonna have to do to mine. Um, so that's that's pretty much all you do to do this test. It's a pretty simple test and it's very important in your tank to keep your you keep your DKH and alkalinity in check. So that's that's the the test for tonight, guys. I want to show you guys uh, up and close and personal how to do it step by step. If you guys have any questions. Uh, let me know and I'll definitely go over it with you. So I know now like right now I got to buff my tank guys and uh, get my everything back up to normal But I want to show you guys before I went ahead and did that the results. So I hope you guys like this episode um, You know, please subscribe and hit the like button uh, and leave your comments really enjoying those um, I got a bunch of t-shirts made up shipping those out to the few of you guys there have been following me I really really appreciate that and uh We'll move on to the next test kit and go from there, guys. So have yourself a great night. We'll talk to you soon.